Hi, this is Max Katz with Opry.io. Today I want to show you how to build uh, a mobile app under five minutes. Um, it's going to be simple, um, but yet real mobile app that talks to an API backend uh, or, or a cloud database. So let's start by creating a new app. And this is my app. And click Create. And in just a few seconds, we're going to have a brand new app. All right, and here we go. Now every app is a page that's if we can open under pages and uh, we're gonna start by building the app UI now uh, we're gonna um, connect to a database that holds uh, insurance policies so for instance um, maybe you can buy various policies so you, you can view a list and we're gonna use a list component and then we're just gonna say uh, one item like this um, so that's actually it for the UI um, very fast uh, very simple now I'm going to click on database and I'm going to open the operate.io cloud database and create a new database and I'm going to call this insurancedb. Again, so I'm creating a brand new database but you can of course also connect to any existing um, API backend. New collection, we'll call this policy and now you can create any number of columns. We're just going to keep it pretty simple, we'll say name. Uh, and uh, you, we can also enter some sample data here to make this a little bit bigger. So, for example, car insurance, uh, medical insurance, and um, so dental insurance. All right. So that's our sample data. Now, what's nice is that everything you do here is instantly exposed via um, REST API. And um, we can go back to the app builder and uh, go to create new. And we can automatically create these services, generate the services, database services. We see a list of all the databases and the one that we just created is right here. And then you can see we can now select the services we want to generate. So we want the list and import. So the service was um, created and we can open the service and everything is set for us, uh, the URL, um, there's nothing for request, but then the response is set. Uh, we can also test. We can click test, and we can see instantly we get the three items that we just created. Let's go back to the page. Uh, we're going to switch to data view, and we're going to add a service to the page. So this means the service is now available on the page, and now we need to do uh, we need to bind the service to the page. So there's nothing for us to map for input uh, because we're just getting the entire list. But for the um, output mapping, right, so we're going to expand and expand here. So this is the service response. So we're going to take the um, collection of all the uh, insurance policies and map it to the list itself. And that's going to give us a looping feature and then the name to the text property. All right? We're going to go back to design. Um, and then we're going to select the page in breadcrumbs. And we're going to change this to um, page show and then invoke service, all right? So basically invoke the service on page show. And that's basically, now we can test the app right in the browser. All right, and you can see, um, so this is a real app running in the browser that is connected uh, to an API backend. And in this particular case, it is the Apri.io cloud um, database. Um, so once you're done, um, what do you do next? Well, you can uh, publish this, this app as a mobile web app, uh, or you can also package it for um, native platform, for example, Android, iOS, uh, or Windows Phone. And um, right here, you will launch the build, um, and you download the file, and then you can basically uh, instantly install it uh, on your phone for, uh, for testing. So definitely um, try, go to Opry.io, sign up. Um, I highly recommend to go to uh, devcenter.opry.io. Uh, that's our uh, developer site. And for example, you can click on getting started. And there are three great tutorials that you can start with. Um, again, Opry.io. And thank you for watching.